The Lord be with you. And also with you. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth will proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make this to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Well, everybody, it's a pleasure to be doing this podcast for the first time today. Very exciting, hard act to follow. I thought the vicar was excellent yesterday. I really enjoyed that. I was very encouraged by it. And yes, I am definitely an optimist. There is, there is no doubt. But uh, this morning, I want to talk to you briefly about uh, a, a book that I received when I first became a Christian. Uh, I worked in a, a manufacturing company and I was surrounded by Christians who were trying to influence me at the time. And to be fair, they did quite a good job. And uh, Avril was a lovely person. Uh, and she gave me this book whenever I became a Christian. I have a copy of it. It's quite yellowed now. And it's dog-eared. It's Max Lucado's Just Like Jesus. A excellent book. And it's just blessed me so many times down through the years. And I just, I just enjoy it so much. And as I selected a reading from it this morning, I was really encouraged to see that he actually quotes the text that I was preaching on on Sunday. So I really feel there's a lovely God incidence. And I do hope that you enjoy this reading. From Just Like Jesus by Max Lucado. Adjust the lens of your imagination until you have a clear picture of Jesus leading your life. Then snap the shutter and frame the image. What you see is what God wants. He wants you to think and act like Christ Jesus. Philippians 2 and 5 God's plan for you is nothing short of a new heart. If you were a car, God would want to control your engine. If you were a computer, God would claim the software and the hard drive. If you were an aeroplane, He'd take his seat in the cockpit. But you are a person, so God wants to change your heart. But you were taught to be made new in your hearts, to become a new person. That new person is made to be like God, made to be truly good and holy. Ephesians 4, 23 and 24 God wants you to just be like Jesus. He wants us to have hearts like his. I'm going to risk something here. It's dangerous to sum up grand truths in one statement, but I'm going to try. If a sentence or two could capture God's desire for each of us, it might read like this. God loves you just the way you are, but he refuses to leave you that way. He wants you to be just like Jesus. And a lovely hymn from a favourite book of mine that makes a beautiful prayer. Let us pray. Behold, the golden light appears, making night's blindness fade away. Too long has it led us astray and drawn us towards the dark abyss. May this new day be calmly passed. May we keep pure while it shall last, nor let our lips from truth depart, nor evil plans engage the heart. Above us is his loving eye, the faithful guardian all our life, witness of all our daily deeds, from break of day till evening star. Praised be the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit equally, the triune Godhead three in one, now and for all eternity. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your protection, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We say together, Our Father, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. 
And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.